the Infinite Tree Duck Demo, aka how to scare the pants off a noob with a single DOS command. All that and more this time on Hack 5. Hello and welcome to Hack 5. My name is Darren Kitchen. It's your weekly dose of techno lust. I haven't thrown a cow at you in a while and I missed. Recently, I was asked to build a demo payload for the USB rubber ducky that would basically put up something flashy on the screen as kind of like an eye opener, one of those like awareness kind of things. And uh, it's kind of amazing what's possible with just three seconds of physical access. So today, I'm gonna show you some keystroke injection goodness with USB rubber ducky, which we haven't done in a little bit. And uh, it, it's gonna be a kind of fun one because there's some new tools to uh, be demoing. In, in the past, I've done little hello world stuff that would simply open notepad and, and write hello world kind of goes without saying, right? It's not exactly sexy, but it gets the job done, right? Um, but this person actually wants something sexy, right? So I think I've come up with the 40 characters of doom that does the trick. And today I'm going to use this stupid simple payload as a way to demonstrate an encoding tool that should be in your arsenal. Uh, if you've been using the USB rubber ducky for a while, you should be familiar with the Java-based duck encoder uh, or even some of the Python ones. It it's basically takes a simple human-readable text file, our stupid simple ducky script, right, with its all caps commands, you know, caps lock, cruise control for cool, all that good stuff. And it, it turns that human-readable, you know, string hello world into the actual binary, uh, in this case on the ducky, the inject.bin file that it's expecting. And it's no big deal, but to be honest, sometimes Java can be a little cumbersome. So there are online encoders that'll do the conversion for you in the cloud. But what if say the content of your payload is confidential? It's probably best to do it locally. And uh, you know, until now you could always just use the uh, various Java based or, or Python based encoders, but now you can do the same thing just with the browser in JavaScript. So check this out. If you guys haven't uh, navigated over to downloads.hack5.org, you definitely should and check it out because under the USB rubber ducky, we have all of these various tools and a lot of them are third party, but this one right here from Hack5 is the JS duck encoder. And so this was developed not too long ago and essentially it does all of the magic right here in your browser. No dependencies necessary. You just save the file and I'm literally just gonna open it right here. And this is all, you know, local, right? So this is pretty cool. Go ahead and grab yourself a copy of this. It's all just HTML, one single file, and it's all happening in JavaScript. And that's pretty cool because it means that we can have all our nefarious fun without anyone knowing. So now you're probably wondering what kind of nefarious fun we're having and I'm glad you asked because like any good payload, we're gonna start by wait in a hot sec, right? So down here in our editor, we're gonna go ahead and do delay 3000, and that's gonna delay for three seconds. Let me also make this a bit bigger, uh, just so that we can see this on the YouTubes. And we're gonna go ahead and after we delay for a moment, we're gonna inject the keystrokes GUI or Windows key, or the super key if you're on Linux, uh, R. So that's gonna open up the run dialog, delay for I don't know, half of a second, just to make sure that run dialog is up before we start typing in our nefarious keystroke of doom, which is tree. And then we're gonna hit enter. Now, before we actually encode this demon of a payload, it's probably best to test it on a virtual copy of our victim box. And in this case, since we're building a payload to scare the pants off of Windows users, I've got our little bunny box right here ready to go. So on our bunny box, we'll do the same thing. Uh, you know, we'll hit GUI R, we'll type in tree, we'll hit enter, and Bob's your uncle. Now here's the thing, that's not a great payload. I mean. That's a four character payload, which is kind of cool. But as you see, it happened very quickly. It went through and showed you all of the directories within your home directory. Great. We could make it better with tree C colon backslash and it'd take a little bit longer, but honestly, it would eventually end. And I feel like we can go a little scarier for the noobs. So in this case for the demo, let's just put it in a simple loop. If this were bash, we would do like a while true, do whatever we want and then done. But since it's CMD, we're gonna use some old DOS commands, which is kind of fun. So we'll hit GUI R and we'll type CMD 
slash capital C to keep the window. And in quotes, we're going to go ahead and put four slash L percent N in open and close paren do and then whatever we want. So in this case, tree, huzzah. We now have a tree that will loop forever and ever and ever. Mwahahahaha, <laughs> K-Rad Ultra Reet, right? No, close, but we can give it plus 10 hacker points and I'm gonna show you how right now. Let's control C that guy and bring up our dialogue again. And we're basically just going to prepend this for command with color space A and then an ampersand saying, hey, change the color of the terminal and then do all of that. And now, oh yeah, green and black. Almost as cool as the matrix, not quite. So we come back over to our ducky script editor and just go ahead and replace that. We now have an epic little payload. So we just hit generate payload, woot woot. And right here in our browser, we can go ahead and save the file to the micro SD card, which I have done. And we pop it in our duck and let's go ahead and own this windows box, huh? So we plug in our ducky, which just simply waits for three seconds before injecting keystrokes and boom, we have evil tree of doom. And what's great about this payload is I can literally just pull the duck and it's gonna continue doing this. It takes three seconds to run, it injects 40 characters and away we go. It's kind of crazy to think what's possible with that. Now, in just a bit, we're gonna check in on our Hack5 Gear giveaway, but first, we're gonna take a moment to thank our sponsor. Domain.com has all of your website needs from .com and .net to intuitive website builders. Create your online identity with their affordable, reliable tools. Even brand yourself with over 300 extensions from .club to .space. Domain.com loves Hack5, which is why you get 15% off domain names, hosting, and email when you check out with coupon code HACK5. When you think domain names, think domain.com. Mad props to our developer Corbin who whipped this up as his first project when he joined the Hack5 team. And uh, well, you work for us, so you kind of get as much Hack5 gear for free as you want. Um, so you're not getting hooked up with a Hack500 gift certificate, but instead, if you would like to win some awesome Hack5 gear of your own, like a Wi-Fi pineapple, which we just released awesome firmware for, uh, get your updates and I'll show you guys that next week. But in any event, uh, just leave a comment below for your chance to win and you can, you know what, you know what I would really love to see? What your run dialogue, like one-liner to freak out noobs is. And, and I'm really curious if anybody can top a looping green tree command for leetness. So please get creative, leave your command below for your chance to win a Hack5 $100 gift certificate. Full detail is over at hack5.org slash contest. With all of that, I'm Darren Kitchen. Trust your techno lust. <laughs>